About two and a half weeks ago, I had a revision surgery done on my left leg. Uh, the original amputation was three years ago. Standard amputation worked well for about the first nine months, and then I developed leg pain. Uh, the nerves became hypersensitive and I couldn't wear prosthesis for over a year and uh, just two and a half weeks ago I opted to have uh, another surgery on my amputated leg. This time I decided to have Dr. Ertl in Indianapolis do the surgery. He does it differently. Um, everybody that knows anything about amputations and an Ertl knows there's a bone bridge in a standard amputation, the tibula and fibula are just left loose, but with the ertal amputation, they're actually joined together, and uh, so that changes a lot of things. One of the big things is the end of the limb becomes weight-bearing again, and uh, so it changes the way you do a prosthesis, and uh, hopefully um, that's going to allow me to get back up out of the wheelchair and start walking again. So it's been about two and a half weeks. I'm healing well, and I've been given permission to uh, start doing some compression on the, the uh, end of my limb, just so that uh, it helps to, to uh, build the bone structure a little bit better and prepare me for being weight-bearing on the end. So I just want to show you one of the exercises that I'm doing right now, two and a half weeks after my surgery. The first thing I'm going to do is take this protective brace off. Uh, you, can do the, you can do the exercises with it on if you wish, but I want to take it off. Um, it's a lot of hard plastic. I'm going to uh, leave my under sock on. Uh, the, the wound is healed up pretty well, but uh, we'll just leave it like this for right now. So. To do this first stage of compression exercises, take a folded towel, into, it's folded into thirds, placed on the end of the, the limb, and then with your hand underneath your uh, knee and uh, on top of the knee, you just pull back until it sort of smarts, and then you hold it for about five seconds, and you let go. And you keep doing that back and forth. Now that may not seem like very much, but if you have a standard amputation, don't try that because your bone structure isn't built and you can really mess up uh, the end of your limb. Uh, but with the urtal amputation, that's pretty amazing that uh, you can put that much pressure two and a half weeks after the surgery uh, on the end of your limb. Uh, eventually, this will be come totally weight bearing, I'll be able to put all my weight upon With a standard amputation, the, the leg is cut and the lower end of the muscles are just left loose and so they don't function. They're there but they don't function and they atrophy. With a urtal amputation, after the bone bridge is built, these muscles, opposing muscles, are actually tied together around the end of the bridge so they function again. And so now Another exercise that I'm beginning to do is beginning to exercise these muscles. And so um, one of the things I'm supposed to do is imagine that I have a foot out here and then move the muscles to get the foot to go up and down and then uh, twist it, do circles. One of them is, is to imagine there's a blackboard and write the alphabet with my foot or toes. So. Uh, uh, it's sort of interesting. I found it sort of hard mentally to figure out how, what muscles to tell. I haven't used those muscles for three years. So I usually stick my other foot up and then move those muscles and I can sort of tell because of the muscles in this leg what muscles I have to do. So I sort of mirror those exercises. Um, I can't tell you how exciting it is just to feel these muscles in this lower part of my limb moving again. It's sort of strange, but it really gives me this sense of uh, uh, wholeness and I feel like I've, I've made a lot of progress just because these things are moving again and uh, I feel like I'm on a, a great road to success. 
Um, I really am off all pain meds. After about two weeks, I was off all pain medication. And so I'm able to touch and push on the end of my limb and rub it and uh, just sort of help to desensitize after the surgery. And I'm going to be putting a uh, shrinker on this limb soon to begin to uh, get some of the fluid built up uh, that's post-operative so that I'll be prepared to then uh, get my um, start working on getting a prosthetic leg within the next month or so. So uh, very excited about what's happened in the last few weeks and looking forward to what's ahead.